I got it. Careful, careful, careful. Woo! Oh, oh my gosh, are right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh! Don't move, don't move, don't move. I got it, I got it, I got it. There he is. The rainforests of Costa Rica boast being an incredibly diverse ecosystem, with literally thousands of plant and animal species. And while many of these creatures are nocturnal and rely on the darkness of night to help keep them hidden, there are also plenty of diurnal, or daytime animals, that one can encounter. Today we are exploring the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Reserve. Located in the Central Caribbean zone, its 121-acre expanse is home to over 50 species of amphibians, including the iconic green and black poison frog. My goal was to find, safely catch, and get one of these rainforest gems up close for the cameras. Ah, no! Oh, they're so fast! However, Catching a poison frog is far easier said than done. Just saw one. Did it hop away? Yep, it's right in these leaves. Hold on. Did you get it? I sure did. No, I did not. Are you serious? Anything? Ah. Uh, they go in the burrow. I don't know where it went. Oh, jeez. Ah! Ah! What is it? Stinging ants. Ah. Little fire ants. Ah! One of the dangers of catching poison frogs is you just throw your hands into everything, and I just threw my hands into a mound of fire ants. Ah. Oh, gosh. This is, uh, it's more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Not only are these amphibians small and speedy, they are also incredibly aware of their surroundings. Ooh, there's one on that leaf. So at any sign of danger, uh, they immediately flee into their burrows. This is a bromeliad plant, and you see how thick the middle of it is. I'm just gonna bend this leaf down a little bit, take a little glance in there. You see all that water? That pocket of water is exactly what the female frogs are looking for to lay her eggs. Oh, there's a poison frog right there. Where, where, where? There's two. There's a red, and then the red one's just what, tucked behind the leaf, but there's a little oh, green. Oh, oh, that's a baby one. Oh, it's a, it's a froglet. We're definitely looking for something that is way bigger than that. Now, the adults are hanging out by the plants too, right? Yeah, they can be. You can obviously also find them around on the forest floor, hiding in leaf litter or up underneath root structures. Like all of this area like this, just a matter of kind of trekking through it and getting lucky actually spotting one. All right, I'm heading into here. As we traveled deeper into the rainforest, the wet and rocky terrain only became more difficult to navigate, and the ever-looming cloud layer overhead threatened a torrential downpour at any moment. But I was determined to catch one of these frogs. Okay, well, so far, I've missed catching a lot of these poison frogs. We've seen them, and as soon as you see one, they disappear to their burrows. We've been out here for, I don't know, what'd you say, close to three and a half, four hours now? Yeah, I know. I think the rains are gonna start rolling in soon. I did not anticipate it taking this long to get a little green and black frog in front of the cameras, but uh, we are not giving up. We're definitely seeing them. It's just a matter of coyote actually catching one. All right, let's keep moving. There's the frog. You got one? Yep. Where, where? Oh. Ah, we're right up underneath those roots. You see that? Where'd it go? Right there, you see? Okay, so there's this rock here. Mm -hmm. Look behind it. Yep. See those roots and those rocks? Yeah. Yeah, back up in there. Frog pretty much just disappears. Now, you may be thinking, well, Coyote, just stick your hand in there. Get the frog. There could be snakes in there. There could be spiders in there. I certainly don't want to disturb the animal's home. So, in all fairness, that frog evaded capture. And then finally, the combination of patience and a little persistence paid off. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's definitely a frog. Let me see if it calls again. No, your camera didn't get that sound, did it? You weren't rolling yet? No. Yeah, I definitely heard one. All right, I'm moving up this. 
It's definitely worth looking. This is a bit steep, but. Jeez, buddy. I see it. It's definitely. Is it catchable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, none of the rest of them have it. Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to die for it. Did yes! You get it? I got it! And a handful of grass, too. Woo! All right, I'm coming down. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes! Careful, careful, careful. Woo! You all right? Okay, yeah. Covered in mud. Handful of leaf litter. But I definitely have the frog. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Yeah. This has been one difficult amphibian to come across. Ready? Oh! oh. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I got it, I got it, I got it. There he is. Okay. Hold on, just let it come down there. It's on a nice flat spot. It's gonna get away. Got it. <sighs> See how jumpy they are? Yeah. I literally am gonna have to hold on to this frog's leg the entire time. Let me uh let me wash off my hands in the stream here so I can get a good handle on it. Oh! Covered in mud again. My pockets are wedged full of mud. Totally worth it though, because now we have the green and black poison frog up close for the cameras. Oh, you are not going anywhere. Wow, well there it is, the black and green poison frog. They are so incredibly fast, and the reason I've had so much trouble is because they often hang out right in front of their burrows or in front of a root structure. So as soon as they feel vibrations in the ground, any sort of sounds, make visual contact, they say bloop, and disappear down into the ground. Now, aposomatic is the term that you always hear me saying when it comes to these brightly colored animals. And what aposomatic means is that it's a warning sign to any potential predator that I am toxic. If you eat me, if the stomach ache doesn't make you keel over, it may in fact actually kill you. Now, this variety is slightly more toxic than the granular or the strawberry poison frog, so I, I'm definitely gonna be washing my hands after handling this frog. Now, when I climbed up the side of the hill, its back was actually toward me, which is the only reason that I think I was able to leap and grab a hold of the frog. But as you can see, as soon as I gave it any runway for getting an escape route, it immediately hopped off my hand and made a break for it. And the thing is, a lot of times we try to catch poison frogs, whether it's this variety or the strawberry poison frog or the granular poison frog, you think that you've got the frog, but they move so quickly, as soon as you grab down at it, because you have to be gentle, the frog is already gone. Now, this is a terrestrial species of frog, and you'll notice that it doesn't have webbing in between its toes. They're moving throughout the rainforest, searching the leaf litter for any small bugs they can come across. They're opportunistic feeders. But this species specifically loves to feast on ants, and it's actually the alkaloids in the ants that give this frog its toxicity. So, Coyote, why, why is this considered the most iconic poison frog? Well, just look at the coloration. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. That green and black marbling is so incredibly distinct. And look how evenly it's spread throughout the frog's body. Now, I do have an admiration for these frogs, but if there's somebody that really loves these frogs, it's Mark. Oh, geez, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, calling you out. It's true, since I was eight years old, that's my favorite amphibian right there. Actually, I have a mouse pad of that exact frog. He does. I bet you're pretty excited. Once we get this episode through post-production, you get to edit the thumbnail, because Mark edits all the thumbnails for the YouTube channel, guys. You're gonna actually be scrolling your mouse pad over an image of this frog while editing an image of this frog. I know, it's kind of crazy, but yeah, <laughs> I'm excited about it. Very cool. All right, well, I am muddy, I am sweaty, and I'm exhausted, but we finally managed to get the green and black poison frog, up close for the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Over the years filming Brave Wilderness episodes, I have managed to encounter many species of frogs. And whether they were giant bullfrogs of the south, culturally iconic red-eyed leaf frogs, or tiny toxic jungle jelly beans, the green and black poison frog is certainly one that I will always remember as being well worth the epic adventure and incredible challenge to get up close for the cameras. If you thought the green and black poison frog was colorful, make sure to go back and watch our episode about the red-eyed leaf frog. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.